everybody. So today um, I'm really excited to share with you guys that I am actually doing another collaboration video with my favorite Lisa Fremont Street. If you guys remember last year around the same time, uh, her and I did our first collaboration video together and you guys seem to really like it. So um, our theme is Queen of Mean and we're doing movie villainesses and I chose Magenta from Rocky Horror Picture Show. I know she's not a typical villainess but she's definitely a bad girl and um, I just grew up watching Rocky Horror Picture Show and I used to go see it when I was in high school and I actually played Magenta in high school so this one is close to my heart and it was fun to recreate and especially now because I actually know how to do makeup and hair when I didn't when I was in high school so hopefully this guys help this helps you guys hopefully you like it and be sure to check the link below for Lisa Fremont Street's link um, to her video and um, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did, um, which I did before I started this video, was I applied a foundation a shade lighter than my skin. I just used this True Match in W1. You can use anything that you want. Luckily, I'm actually fair skin naturally, but Magenta was super fair skin, so um, anything you can do to lighten your face is good. And then I just set it with this um, Flawless FX powder by... Victoria's Secret. Um, I don't have a powder that is as light as the base, so I just use this because it's just translucent. So after you've done that, I took my Bomber Betty palette, which is this one, and I'm just going to take this white color right here. You don't have to be super accurate with where you place it because you're going to put the dark over the top of it, but you just want it to help you create that line. Then after you apply the white, I'm going to take the same palette, and I have this gray color, and my Sigma shader brush, and then I'm just going to apply that to the whole bottom half of my eyelid. Sorry, there's kind of shadows on my face. It's just the way that the camera and my mirror are. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. Okay, so once you've applied the gray, I'm going to take the black from the same palette and just go over my crease and then blend. Okay, now from the same palette, I'm going to take this brown color and I'm just going to blend from the crease upwards to make this round shape. Now don't blend it in too much because hers was like kind of a solid line. I'm doing a little bit, doing it a little bit different, but just make sure it's not super smooth. And also make sure you keep it in a round shape and you don't make it go out. Don't make it wing. So once you're done with the shadow, we're going to do our eyebrows. And I'm just taking this um, Eyebrow Wow by... Um, Bomber Betty, and then my little pencil that goes with it. And Magenta's eyebrows were a little bit flatter than mine naturally are, so I'm not going to put as much of an arch. She kind of made them go flat and then dip down on the ends, and they also weren't super um, uh, sharp, so I'm going to make sure they're just a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> So after I have done my eyebrows, um, she actually doesn't wear blush in the movie, but she has crazy high cheekbones and kind of sunken in cheeks. So I'm just going to take this um, Laura Geller palette, and I'm going to take the, I think this is Gingerberry, Gingerberry blush. It's just kind of a dark, dark color, and I'm just going to put it in the hollows of my cheeks just to create the illusion of higher cheekbones and more hollow cheeks. So now I'm gonna start on my liner and my lower lashes. So I'm gonna go back to that black shadow and I'm just gonna take my same shader brush and just apply a little bit to the underneath. Then I'm going to take my Smashbox Jet Set liner and just a little gel liner brush from Sephora. And I'm going to start on the bottom lashes first. I'm just going to la uh, line my lash line and my water line. And then I'm going to take that same liner. And she actually had fake eyelashes on her bottom lashes, but I think fake eyelashes on the bottom lashes are a pain. They're really uncomfortable. They're hard to apply. Um, so I'm just doing, I'm kind of faking it by drawing them. 
So you're just gonna draw four little lines. Just be careful they're not too dark. Now I'm gonna line my top lashes. Just line along, the li along your lash line, make it a little thicker than usual and don't wing it out. You just want it to end right at the end. that's done, I'm just gonna take my They're Real by Benefit mascara and just give your top and bottoms a good coat. Then I'm going to take these lashes, this is the case, um, they're Stardell lashes, I don't know, they're just some off-brand I got at a cheap store. Um, and I'm gonna put those on. Now for these lashes in particular, you want to look for lashes that don't wing out too much on the ends. You don't want the Maryland style, you want them that are more um, the same length all the way around because you want your eyes to look more round and less almond shaped. So once you're done with your lashes, you can start on your lips. I'm just going to line my mouth with this Revlon Colorstay Red pencil. Now when you're done with that, I'm going to take my Ruby Woo by MAC lipstick and I'm just going to fill in my whole mouth with my lip liner pencil. Okay, now her lips were actually really glossy, but because my lips are so thin, I prefer not to do gloss. So instead, I'm going to do this Glamour Doll Eyes um, uh, glitter. It's called Fierce, and it's just a bright red glitter. And I'm just going to tap that over my lips. Just take it, put your finger in there, and just give it a little tap over the top of your lipstick. This also will stay on all night because your lips will be dry with the lipstick, so it's just a little bit better way, like if you're going to a party or something. I'm not sure if you can see how sparkly this is, but my lips look like a disco ball. It's pretty amazing. So now you've done the makeup, and let's start on the hair. So basically you want day old hair. Make sure it's not squeaky clean or it won't tease very well, especially if you have straight hair like I do. Uh, do a good center part. And then you're just going to take your 3 quarter inch curling iron and just make as many small curls as you can and then pin them. I'm doing this kind of like I do my pin curl tutorial, so if you want more details you can watch that one. Um, but it's just kind of the basics. And you don't have to be super exact on how you pin them. You don't really have to worry about denting the curls because we're going to just tease the crap out of this in the end anyways. What's more important is that you get small curls and you do small sections so that the teasing um, is easier in the end. cool now. This is what all of my pin curls look like. You're going to want to let it cool completely, probably about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, if you want, you can pin your hair and then do your makeup while it's cooling. That's usually what I do. So now you're just going to take out all of the pins. Now if you want a more poodly look, you could do a wet set, but um, in the interest of time, I'm just doing a set with a curling iron. So once you've got all your curls, uh, your pins out, just take a um, teasing comb and I'm just going to go through those curls one by one and I'm just going to tease them. Now if you don't want to tease
change your hair and you want to do this style, my advice would be to wear a wig because her hair is definitely um, curly and frizzy and big. You may be able to get away with it if you have naturally curly hair, but if you have naturally straight hair like I do, it's not going to happen unless you tease it. And make sure that none of the curls look pretty. Make sure none of them look like you just curled your hair. Okay, so you're going to take those curls that you just teased and give them a spray. And then separate them so you have just one big mass. And if your hair is uh, longer than mine, you can always pin up the bottoms. Her hair was actually kind of long, so it works for me. Just arrange it how you need it. And then if you want to go full out, you can do the actual maid hat that she has, but she doesn't wear it through the whole thing. So. Um, so this is it. This is my magenta from Rocky Horror Picture Show look. Uh, I hope that you guys liked it. I hope that you guys like uh, Lisa Fremont Street's interpretation. I'm actually really excited myself to see it. Um, and I hope that you guys are having an awesome new year. And um, I hope that you keep watching my videos.